In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very cool product made by Sun Gold Power. This is the Blue Power SP6548 Solar Inverter. As with all of my videos, I will put links down below to everything I used in this video. I did another review with Sun Gold Power regarding an inverter that I used in my RV, and it was extremely high quality and it worked extremely well. So when Sun Gold Power reached out to me and they asked if I wanted to take a look at any of their other inverters, I immediately took a look and I found this particular inverter. What really excited me about this inverter is the fact that it is designed to work with or without batteries. Located in the back corner of my property is a little shed that I keep a little tiny vintage electric car in. The shed is 20 feet by 10. It doesn't have a lot of real estate on the roof because of the way it's designed, but I was able to install 1200 watts of solar power on the south facing side of the roof. So my original goal was to use this inverter to just charge my little electric car. However, after looking at all the features that are jam packed inside this inverter, it's doing much more and I could not be happier. Because this shed sits so far away from the property, installing grid power was just not a feasible option. So now we have power to the shed and we can light it up. All of my garden tools are now electric, including my rototiller. They are all using these 80 volt batteries and I'm able to charge and maintain them from this particular solar inverter using the power of the sun. This particular inverter may be one of the easiest options I have ever used and installed. It's very easy to configure and it's basically a one-stop shop. It's technically a combination of things in one box. It's an inverter, it's a solar charge controller, it's a transfer switch, and it has the capabilities of doing all of this while being able to monitor it wirelessly. If you do choose to use this system with batteries, it is highly configurable as far as the charging aspects goes. You can pretty much use any type of battery system that you would like, providing you're using a 48 volt battery system. Taking a look at the bottom side of this panel, I want to show you how things are connected and how they're hooked up. Starting on the right side, we have lugs, which is where you would connect a battery if you wish to do so. If you decide to connect it to the grid, now again, it doesn't power the grid, but it'll act as a giant transfer switch, you would connect the grid power to these three terminals. Your output power comes from these particular three terminals, which is where I have mine connected. It does support two independent solar arrays using the MC14 connectors, which is how I have mine connected. Hiding underneath this cover is some more connectors that allows you to do a number of different things. You can parallel multiple units together. If you put two of them together, you can get a 240 volt system. The display and interface is actually quite amazing. You can configure every option through this display and you can take a look at all the stats. The display also slips out here in case you want to mount it remotely. So if you were to put this maybe in a basement and you want to put this upstairs in your living area, you could totally do that. The connector uses a standard network cable, so it's really not difficult to extend this display if you need to. This inverter is truly an amazing inverter. It has so many features packed inside that it's truly configurable to your needs. I currently have this particular unit set up without any battery plugged in. I do have an umbilical cord that I can plug my car in and charge it if I want to, but right now that cord is completely unplugged. And with no battery Batteries plugged into the inverter and powered by solar panels only, I'm going to run this little saber saw and I'm also charging those batteries over there. So you can see with this inverter, it will provide power under a batteryless environment without any issues at all. Obviously the only requirements are you're going to need enough input power from your solar panels to provide the things that you need to run. Because this inverter has a built-in Wi-Fi module, you can pretty much take a look at all of the stats and configure it using the Watch Power app. Now I currently do have the 48 volt battery pack that is in my car plugged into the inverter and that's what you're seeing here is that it has a 78% charge. And we're feeding that battery at 9 amps with a approximately 579 watts of solar power incoming into the inverter. Scrolling from left to right through the tabs, I'm just gonna show you some of the basic features that you have access to. And the history tab does take a snapshot periodically throughout the day that you can go back and take a look at all of that data. The perimeter settings let you adjust everything remotely inside the unit itself. It's very handy, specifically if you want to change some settings while you're away from the unit itself. Then the very last tab lets you take a quick look at the Wi-Fi module information. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I'm really impressed with this inverter. The features are just amazing and you can use this in so many different ways, whether you're using batteries or you're not using batteries. To be quite honest, I've never seen an inverter jam-packed with all these features. It even has a dry set of contacts that you can use to trigger other things 
based on various alarms. Sun Gold Power does post the manual to this online. I will put a link to that down below. If you're interested in an inverter like this, I highly suggest you go through that manual and you read up on all the specifications and learn how this operates before you make the purchase. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do have some videos regarding solar power coming up that I think you just might be interested in. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.